Hello and welcome to this video about strengthening the serratus anterior muscle. This video consists of 10 exercises in which the MVIC activity will go from low to high. Strengthening of the serratus anterior is a critical component of rehabilitation for patients with shoulder impingement syndromes and problems like winging of the scapula. In this overview, I will show you all the exercises that will be performed and explained during this video. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. For now, let's get started. The first exercise that makes it in this top 10 video is the wall push-up plus, as described in a study by Hartwick et al. in the year 2006 and by London et al. in the year 2010. This exercise generated the MVIC of 31.3% for the serratus anterior muscle. The wall push-up plus exercise is a great starting exercise for people that have severe compensations of excessive shoulder shrugging and excessive upper trapezius activity. To perform this exercise, stand in an upright position with the hands in contact with the wall and feet shoulder wide apart. Then from a retraction position, maximally protract your shoulder blades by rounding your upper back while maintaining full elbow extension. Although the wall push-up plus is a relatively known rehab exercise, it is important to keep in mind that during this exercise, the internal and downward rotation of the scapula may result in a decreased volume of the supracromial space or internal impingement of the rotator cuff undersurface according to a study by London et al. in the year 2010. Therefore, any discomfort or increase of symptoms should result in a modification of this exercise, such as adding increased scapular upward rotation. The next exercise is the wall slide, which is an effective exercise to activate the serratus anterior muscle above 90 degrees of shoulder elevation. This exercise was described by Hartwick et al. in the year 2006, and generated an MVIC of 37.1% at 90 degrees, 58.3% at 120 degrees, and 75.7% at 140 degrees. To perform this exercise, stand in an upright position, facing a smooth wall with the dominant foot against the base of the wall, and with the opposite foot shoulder wide apart and behind the dominant foot. Then place your forearms in contact with the wall and the shoulders and elbows at a 90 degree angle. The shoulders should be placed in a plane approximating the scapular plane. Then slide the forearms up the wall while leaning into it by transferring body weight from the non-dominant foot to the dominant foot. This staggered foot position helps to shift your weight forward as you slide your forearms up the wall. While doing this, try bringing your shoulder blades out and around as you slide up the wall. At the end of the movement, maximal shoulder elevation should be obtained. Variations may be applied to activate the serratus anterior muscle more, such as a resistance band, a foam roller, or the combination of both. Furthermore, this exercise may be appropriate to initiate early in the rehabilitation process because the wall slide provides some support to the upper extremity. The towel wall slide is a variation of the standing wall slide and is described by Newman and Camargo in the year 2019. To perform this exercise, start in a neutral shoulder position, then slide up the wall, ending in a combined position of maximal scapular plane abduction and scapular protraction. The next exercise is the scaption exercise in the plane of the scapula, which is performed below 80 degrees as described by Ekstrom et al. in the year 2003. This exercise generated an MVIC of 62% for the serratus anterior muscle. To perform this exercise, stand in an upright position with the shoulders placed in the plane approximating the scapular plane, then at the same time Lift both arms towards the ceiling while keeping them below 80 degrees. Another scaption exercise is that in the plane of the scapula above 120 degrees, this exercise produced significantly greater EMG activity in the serratus anterior when compared to the exercise below 80 degrees. Avoiding a range of motion where shoulder impingement would most likely occur and the painful arc of movement is avoided. The next exercise is the knee push-up plus 
which is a modification of the push-up plus exercise as described by Decker et al. in the year 1999 and Mendes et al. in the year 2021. This exercise generated the MVEC of 72% in the serratus anterior muscle. To perform this exercise, go into a prone position with the hands shoulder wide apart and chest near the ground. Keep in mind that body weight is supported by the hands and knees rather than the hands and feet. Extend your elbows to a standard push-up position and continue to rise up protecting the scapula. Then return to the starting position by retracting the scapula. Repeat this exercise with respect to the pain. The next exercise is the dynamic hug as described by Decker et al. in the year 1999 and by Park et al. in the year 2013. This exercise generated the MVIC between 85.1% to 109% and is therefore a great exercise to perform when strengthening the serratus anterior according to Newman and Camargo in the year 2019. To perform the dynamic hug exercise, stand with your back towards the pulley or elastic band device, knees slightly bent and the feet shoulder wide apart. Then with 45 degrees flexed elbows, arms abducted 60 degrees and shoulders internally rotated 45 degrees, horizontally flex the humerus at a constant 60 degrees of humeral elevation, while the hands follow an imaginary arc. An indication for maximum scapular protraction is when the hands are touched together. When this occurs, slowly return to the starting position and repeat this movement. The next exercise is the serratus punch to 120 degrees, as described by Decker et al. in the year 1999 and by Reinhold et al. in the year 2009. This exercise generated the MVIC of 49.4% in the serratus anterior muscle. To perform the serratus punch exercise, stand with your back towards the pulley or elastic band device, knees slightly bent and feet apart in a split stance. The handle of the pulley or elastic band device is then grasped at shoulder height with the elbow fully extended, the humerus internally rotated at 45 degrees and the scapula in a retracted position. Then a protracted and retracted scapula movement is being made in the direction of 120 degrees. Because serratus anterior activity tends to increase in a somewhat linear fashion with arm elevation. However, increasing arm elevation increases subacromial impingement risk. Therefore, it must be noted that arm elevation at lower angles also generates relatively high serratus anterior activity and pain and discomfort at punching towards 120 degrees can be changed to lower degrees of punching. Perform this exercise with respect to the pain. The next exercise is the diagonal exercise, which was described by Ekstrom et al. in the year 2003 and by Park et al. in the year 2013. This exercise generated an MVIC of 100% in the serratus anterior muscle. To perform the diagonal exercise, sit down on a chair while making a combination of shoulder flexion, horizontal flexion and external rotation. Because this exercise requires a great amount of upward rotation of the scapula, it produces great activation of the serratus anterior muscle. An advantage of the diagonal exercise is that patients with impingement problems may be able to perform this exercise more easily than a shoulder abduction exercise. The last and final exercise for this top 10 is the push-up plus exercise, as described by Decker et al, Park et al, and in a systematic review by Mendes et al, in the year 2021. This exercise generated an MVIC of 104% in the serratus anterior muscle. To perform this exercise, go into a prone position with the hands shoulder wide apart and chest near the ground. While doing this exercise, keep in mind that body weight is supported by hands and feet. Extend your elbows to a standard push-up position and continue to rise up by protracting the scapula. Then return to a starting position by retracting the scapula. According to a systematic review of Kang in the year 2019, higher serratus anterior and lower upper trapezius EMG activity was found when the push-up plus was performed on a stable surface in full elbow extension. 
Furthermore, the systematic review by Mendes et al. in the year 2021 showed that the push-up plus had optimal serratus to trapezius ratios, which makes it the perfect rehab exercise. I hope you enjoyed this video on strengthening the serratus anterior muscle. If so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to comment with me down below. To summarize all exercises during this video, I made an overview that includes the MVIC activity for every exercise during this top 10 video. For now, see you in my next video.